this is Ian Hamilton, Field Technical Manager for the West. On the 10th of July, I'm down here again at the Hampshire Spring Malting Barley Trials and Demonstration Site uh, down near Andover on the Chalk. It's uh, two and a half weeks since we were last here and you can see that the crop has moved on pretty quickly, it's turning now fa fairly quickly, uh, Orn's turning and we're losing green leaf fairly rapidly. So we'll go and have a look at a few uh, points here to see what we can pick up. So what we have here is a simple variety screen, uh, varieties drilled across the tram line. Uh, in front of me is the conventional varieties and then behind me back there you can clearly see where we've got a couple of heritage varieties uh, as we saw at the previous visit. Distinctly different growth habit from, from one of them. Now on one side here uh, these did not, these received a fungicide whereas the other side uh, did not receive any fungicide. All other inputs, uh, nitrogen, etc., were the same and no growth regulator was applied. We'll just look at a couple of varieties. So, Propino, one of the long established Syngenta varieties. Uh, this here is the fungicide treated. You can see uh, we've still got a reasonable amount of green leaf area, not a lot of foliar disease as such, relatively clean this year with the lack of rainfall. Uh, compare that to the side which did not receive a fungicide. Uh, and you can see we've got much less green leaves, a lot of dead tissue in there. So despite the lack of disease, we have helped retain green leaf area. Here we have one of the main commercial standards that's uh, Laureate again from uh, Syngenta. Uh, and again, if we first look in the untreated this time, uh, you'll see um, we've possibly got a little bit more green leaf than the untreated propino. Uh, but again, really starting to turn there. Not a lot of foliar disease again, but loss of green leaf area. Uh, then if we go across to the other side here, we can see the fungicide treated. And again, we've managed to retain a bit more green leaf despite the lack of disease. So it'll be interesting to see whether that gives us a yield response. The fungicide program included a T2 of Alatus era with the multi-site Fulpet. And adjacent to that, we've got some new material. We've got SY Splendor and then SY Tungsten, which is a potential new dual purpose variety. Again, if we look in here at the untreated, you can see again a lot of dead tissue we have got a bit of green leaf but a lot of dead tissue particularly at the bottom looking this time at the treated tungsten same fungicide program and I think you can see definitely more green leaf here so even though we've not got a lot of foliar disease as such we have managed to retain more green leaf area so I would anticipate a useful response to fungicide uh, here Finally, at the bottom end, just a quick look at the heritage varieties. Uh, to the right here, we've got Plumage Archer, which is almost 100 years old as a variety. You can see very tall, very leggy, probably receives too much nitrogen because it got the same as the rest of the field and uh, didn't get any growth regulator. If we look at the fungicide untreated, again, a lot of green uh, and brown matter in here. There was a lot of mildew, uh, etc. early on. Uh, you can see dead tissue there and if we look across to the treated side uh, again still leaning no growth regulator applied here but again you can generally see more green leaf uh, on this side so hopefully this won't uh, lean anymore and we'll be able to get a yield from it and then to the other side here we've got golden promise slightly newer variety a mere 50 odd years old uh, and again this is the untreated completely dead, virtually no green leaf area uh, in the untreated. Uh, and if we look across to the treated side, we can see that we've managed to maintain at least a little bit of a green leaf area. So again, I would expect to get a response to the fungicide program. So this area of the trial side is a variety uh, seed rate interaction trial. 
with some growth regulator programs superimposed. We've got Laureate and Tungsten at 300, 400 and 500 seeds per square metre. Uh, you can definitely see the difference in the seed rate. The dry May drought does not help tiller retention uh, and certainly the 300 seeds uh, looking a little bit thin here uh, on the Laureate here and then as we go here uh, into the Tungsten. As we go to 400 seeds we can see a slightly thicker canopy. Again we've, we have still got quite a bit of uh, lower secondary tillering. Uh, the dry weather didn't help. Uh, that's the Laureate and again the Tungsten at 400 seeds. Uh, pretty similar uh, here. And as we move on up once we get to 500 seeds per square metre, you can see a much thicker crop. Um, the counts we've done so far would indicate uh, we've only got about two tillers per plant uh, at the lower seed rate, two good tillers. Um, but we'll take that to, to yield and see what happens. And this is the tungsten at 500 seeds per square metre.